Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I'm going to smoke some salmon today and I thought I would show you my family's favorite, the way that we smoke salmon. First, you wanna choose some nice fresh salmon, rinse it well, pat it dry with paper towels and feel it carefully to make sure there's no bones left in it. If there are, remove them. Next, I like to dry brine the salmon. Salmon has a lot of moisture in it and a lot of that can be removed ahead of time. So I make a brine. I combine brown sugar, of kosher salt, and pepper. Combine two cups of brown sugar, one half cup of kosher salt, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Stir them together. Then you need a glass dish. Put a layer of your dry brine, then a layer of fish, Then another layer of the brine. Pat it in good and make sure that all of the surfaces are well covered. And then another layer of fish. Then top it with the remainder of your mixture to draw out the moisture. Then I cover it well and put it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, pull it out of the refrigerator and you can see all of the moisture that has been drawn out of the meat. So you want to pour that out, then you want to carefully in cold water gently rinse your fish and lay it on paper towels to dry. Now you want to get your rack ready. So take a rack or as many racks as you need from your master belt smoker and spray it with some kitchen spray. It's hard to keep the spray from going everywhere when you're spraying your racks so I put them in the sink and spray them there because it's easier to clean up the sink than everywhere else in your house. Now lay your salmon on the rack and leave space between them for the smoke to circulate. Let it sit out for two hours so that the surface gets what's called a pellicle. It gets a little glazy glossy and you can see that it's kind of shiny, a little tacky and that's when your salmon is ready to smoke. Now you get your smoker ready. What I do for easy cleanup is first I lay a big sheet of foil in front of the smoker on the ground for any drips. Then I cover the drip tray in the bottom with foil. Then where the water tray goes, I like to replace that with a disposable aluminum pan. Now load up your chips, apple chips or some kind of fruit chips work well with salmon, but use whatever you have. Turn it on to 200 degrees and bring it up to temperature. You can see I've got a good smoke on. I'm gonna open the door quickly, insert the rack of salmon and close it up again so that I don't lose the heat and the smoke. Let it smoke at 200 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour. How can you tell when your salmon is done? There are two ways to know. You can look at it and you can test it for flakiness. After about 45 minutes, take out one of the small pieces and check it for how does it look and is it flaky. You don't want it to be squishy and you don't want it to turn into rubber. So you have to keep your eye on it. You can see it has that white textured matter on it and that's just part of the process but that doesn't hurt anything if you don't like it you can just scrape it off it looks done it's still soft and tender salmon doesn't get much flakier than that 
I'd say it's done and time to take it out. Smoking salmon isn't difficult, it just takes a little time and it's worth every step. It's moist, it's flaky, it's smoke filled like you wouldn't believe. It's delicious. Try it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. This is delicious. Mm.